The machines ambushed convoy Yukon on the outskirts of New York. I was pulled from the burning wreck of the training vehicle at the last moment. No more simulations. Time to get even. First Lieutenant Simon Lynx, 3,594 miles north of the anomaly. Welcome to the real world, Lynx. Hostiles have taken the highway and ambushed Yukon. There's no doubt Dr. Xander is waiting for us, but we got our own problems to solve first. Here are the tactical outlines of our situation. The convoy's pinned down just outside the city. Lynx, eliminate the enemy, all of them. First, reach our recon squad under the command of Sergeant Campton. He may have a solution to our problem. They're here. Just point me where the enemy Lieutenant, I sent you some artillery for this one. The sledgehammer units. They're the best weapons for these conditions. They have long-range cannons, so they work best firing across open terrain. But there's a downside. They can only fire straight in. Use them wisely, Lieutenant. Give them an enemy at 12 o'clock, and let them do the rest. Here's a tech analysis of the vehicle. The sledgehammer can fire over long distances, but its inability to rotate its cannons more than 30 degrees to either side renders it almost defenseless in close combat. The unit compensates for its low armor and low rate of fire with its excellent range. Sir, Sergeant Clint Campton, recon team. We basically got our asses handed to us, sir. We got unidentified structures ahead of us and towers popping out of the ground faster than an Alabama hit zone. Tin cans are breathing like jackrabbits up there, sir. Take one down and two more taking place. Goddamn nightmare. I say, nuke it all to hell. Towers, structures, the whole goddamn kit in the boot. Back during the war, 7th Armored Division set up its last line of defense there. Rip them apart. But luckily, they left their weapons. We discovered some devastators. Big suckers. Rocket launcher heaven, I'm telling you. If we can get them started, we can turn them on those tin cans and wipe them off the map. You know what to do, Lynx. Lock and load. designed for close combat. The unit compensates for its low armor and low rate of fire with sturdy firepower damage, and unlike its twin brother, it can attack in a full circle. You're about to smash 
back straight into a machine, Lynx. Change your route to move up the highway. Hurry!
That's awesome. Good work, Lynx. 